Gianni. And Justin Pipe for the right to play either Michael van Gerwen or Jan Decker in the second semi-final tonight. Gurney will be a big favourite. We saw Rob Cross, the number one seed, topple James Wade. We saw Johnny Clayton uh, come from 7-4 down to beat Steve Beaton. Beaton missing darts for an 8-4 lead. And here, well, it's been pretty comfortable, hasn't it, for Gurney, as you would expect, from the world number four. And he has lived up to it every step of the way. Justin Pipe is appearing in his first major at TV ranking quarter-final for four years the last time was here in this tournament uh, back in 2013 but he has gone the distance in in all of his games survived a match start against William O'Connor as well uh, 40 minutes down the road or so in Taunton uh, this and the UK Open is home tournaments and he tends to do pretty well in both a lot of history between these two. It's they played twice. It's one apiece. They played way back in 2013 in the Grand Slam qualifier, which Justin won 4-1. And then most recently in Barnsley in a Players Championship event, won by Daryl Gurney 6-3. So first to ten to join Clayton and Cross in the semi-finals. We'll be back tonight for the semi-finals at 7 o'clock, best of 21. And a bonus as well later on, we'll bring you the uh, PDC Unicorn World Youth Championship Final uh, between Josh Payne and Dimitri Vandenberg. That'll be live on ITV4 between uh, the second semi-final and the final. That's later on tonight. Sometimes you wonder how Justin Pipe's darts go in as he's explaining heavier darts. Quicker throw, perfect result. What a start. Never looks at his opponent's throw and what's happening, Justin Pipe. His eyes are fixed firmly to the floor. And when he hears the, the third dart thud in, he walks to the hockey. He's disappointed without, he doesn't get a treble here. 60. Only 60. So he will go back. Daryl Gurney will line up the throw, and Justin Pipe stood behind. There he is, looking at the floor. 58. Here's the third dart, and up he steps. He's got a good chance in this opening leg. Incredible how they stay in sometimes. Great switch from Justin Pipe. Seems to be a reverberation in the board when they go in. But Gurney not yet settled down. a way through but he's decided to go downstairs another 19 with a left 120 which is a, a nice finish but 132 is not too bad One hundred. just in your car 132 well started with a 180 can we finish with a showpiece 132 rubber 19 ball Ball. 95. That will require 88. Double 14. Ah, perfect, in perfect so finish. Double Gurney. Same way he's just in the third first. Give more. Gurney doesn't get his scoring boots on. He's not been prolific. Normally, a. Uh, it's a lot of 180s, only at 12 in the tournament so far, which is well below where his stats 91. suggest he should be. He's in for a tough night because Pipe will be there the whole match, looking at his heels. 
81. Gurney, the only one, the only man to reach the quarterfinals of every single uh, PDC major uh, ranking event this year. Peter Wright bowing out, he was another one. Michael Van Gerwen, of course, didn't play in the UK Open. So Gurney 100. just reached the quarterfinals in 2017 at the World Champs, the UK Open, the match play, the Grand Prix, which of course he won. At the European Championship, the Grand Slam, and now at the Players' Championship Finals to that impressive list on the, the CV, which is getting bigger and more impressive for Daryl Gurney. World number four heading into the World Championship. What a year. 100. Oh, an interesting style from Justin Pipe with the <laughs> last dart. 16. Yes. A little lift with the first. A bigger lift with the second. Oh, 20. And the, the third dart was uh, strictly come darting. Yeah, in and out of the board, but. Wonderful from Gurney. First, Wonderful. First 180 of the match. We're in the second leg, one apiece. There we go. And at the moment, it looks like he may need a, a leg up. Two darts on the floor. Double 16 for Gurney. To double his lead. 51. Just in your car, one. I believe it's not in. So 110 to hold. Happening now. So back Gurney comes. Double 16. 2 0. And a break of throw. 94. Dal require 32. Game shot in the second leg. Don't get it. Let's double the two first. He won. 17 in the first leg. Going in the right direction. Gurney hasn't really got going, neither has Justin, but Pipe averaging 90-ish. And hits his second. 180, and both have come against the darts. 14th in the tournament, so he's actually... 57. Illustrating that fact, I said, he's a bit more 180s than, than Gurney, which is uh, remarkable. You feel to to really challenge Gurney and to to push him all the way. Pipe fine. would have to average around the hundred mark. I feel currently sticks at this. Then One steady fourteen. solid ninety will will do the job as long as he finishes well. But early doors only in the third leg. Lots of darts to be thrown. Lots of moments. Lots of game changers, no doubt. 100. This leg being the first, it's a it's against throw. He's in command. Yeah, a bit of frustration six. creeping in for Daryl Gurney. Six six darts at one two six for Pipe. He uh, he saved the opening leg with a terrific 88 finish. Oh. Well, he needs the ball, but will he go for it? No. Nope. 94. Yeah, a good setup. Ninety-six. Just in your Fifteen darts, Daryl Gurney. Yeah, not not at a dart at a double. Nowhere near one. 
Uh, 13 darts are from Justin Pike to break the three. It's interesting, Justin Pike wearing the earplugs. He was saying to Ned in, in the interview pre-match that you know, if the crowd do start to get on his back and 97. cheer or jeer with the slow throws, that he just he's in a box, he's in a bubble. He just keeps focused on, on what he's doing, and nowadays it just doesn't bother him. The earplugs must Very help. Very resilient. We know that. One out of four, Gurney, definitely going to have a tough afternoon on his hands. Forty-five. Nowhere near playing at the level needed to, to beat Pipe. Well, this is exceptional. Three in a row. Three one eight teams in four legs. Takes his average to over a hundred. Gurney fifteen points back. One hundred. Just see the crowd. One hundred and fifteen. Well, still plenty in hand. Eighty-five average. Can't buy a treble. Who'd have thought it? He was two nil up. Surely going to be two apiece. Yeah, just in pipe. Well, we said averaging around a hundred. He's averaging 99, and at the moment, Daryl Gurney lucky to be level. Yep. 100. Puzzled look. One hundred. Well, this is as poor as we've seen Gurney play for a while. I know he was beaten by, I think he was beaten psychologically by Phil Taylor at the Grand Slam, wasn't he? From four all, he lost a couple of legs and. He was never going to get back into it. Taylor, I think, had beaten him before he got on stage. Twelve legs on the spin from Taylor to teach Daryl Gurney an important lesson. And here, Gurney is struggling to find any real consistency. That's only his second, 140 of the match. Just a struggle, it's a scramble at the moment. I'll tell you what, if he goes in ahead, he's a lucky lad. Oh, be a hell of a result. Sixty. Dallas one hundred and sixty-one. I wonder if he'll go for it just for a bit of confidence. Just for a bit of confidence. Yeah, absolutely. The right thing to do, I think. The way that he's been playing. Yeah. Give him a little boost. Unless the 180 uh, drops in from Pipe, <laughs> then he'll regret it. 83. I'm not so sure. I mean, even, even if he loses the leg, I think for me, he had to go for it the way he's been playing. Double eight then. To remarkably go ahead and lead at the first break. Well off the pace, Daryl Gurney. Yeah, I think he knows he is a lucky lad at the moment. Uh, Justin Pipe has come back from two legs down. Uh, but a well below par, Daryl Gurney with a shake of the head and the way he's been playing. But he is ahead, 3-2 in our third quarter final.
Gurney way off the pace, but remarkably still leading 3 2. I'm not quite sure how he got out of that session in front. Just down to having the throw. He's been averaging just 89. For pipes 96.78. So, at the moment, he's trailing, but outplaying Gurney. 100. Sixth leg and just a 1 180 for Gurney. And we know when he's really on his game, it's uh, he is prolific in that department. Only two 140s in five and a bit legs. There we go. Yeah, a bit better. Chance now for Gurney to break the pipe throw with a, another big score. One yeah. and forty. Eighty-one when he comes back. More like Gurney, we know. Eighty-one left after nine. Single three. Double 18, double 12. 41. Just in your car, 144. Had a brief look at the, the double 19 there to go double 19 tops, but realised that Pipes there on 144 changed his mind. Six. That'll be required 14. Tops after 12. Almost regulation nowadays. In shot with six legs. Down Gurney. Seven legs down the drill press. He Just quickened up a bit. Seems far less deliberate. Averages are going in different directions. 134. Dusted Pipe came into the tournament, 31 in the world. Still in the top 32 in the the dog eat dog world 16. of the PDC, and it really is that tough. So push him up a few places, won't it? Up to 30. He's gone up one place to 30 by going through to the quarterfinals. One out of 40. That would give him a potential, potential second round match at the Ali Pali against Gary Anderson at the World Championship. Neighbours. 91. Go up in the same car. I don't think they'll come back in the same car. <laughs> and now, Gurney did the hard work of breaking pipe and is now thrown. Very ordinary legs. 210 left after nine darts thrown. 140. Yep. Pipe is being given a leg up. I look at Treble 18, oh, beauty! Just in about 87. Well, it's a crucial leg, this. Fingers crossed uh, the Gurney fans that Pipe doesn't convert this 87, but great oh. chance now. Well, if he does, he's back in business. What, a good, what a good finish. Under pressure after your opponent just hit a 174 to leave a one dart finish. We're back on throw. Well done, Justin. One 
71. And the pendulum just swings the other way again. Yeah. 83. Justin Pipes average nearly 101. Session in front, that's for sure. He's given it a real go, hasn't he? Here, Pipe. He said he would, and he has. And another one. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes, Justin. The showpiece of Lucky. Close. No cigar. Well, he's hit a 174 again. He hit a 174 to leave 36 in the last leg and lost it. Lose this one as well. Ooh. What a big dart this is. Well, he's in. Ooh. Looks harder to miss. How's he going to get away with this? Four missed darts there from Justin Pipe in all. Cam. Gurney pinch this leg. No score. Never looked likely, did it? Let's be honest. After hitting the 174, he put real pressure on Pipe. Pipe missed, and then Gurney couldn't follow through. Double four. And again. What a big dart again. Wow. There it is, and it's for all. Sixty. Well, that that was a, a, an amazing dart. When you look at it from that camera angle, what a great angle that is! You couldn't see much of it. You could hardly see any of it. The bottom bed of the bed. Any kind of consistency. 91. Did you know, talk about mind games up on the stage. Not that they're playing any, but but Pipe will know here that he has a real chance. Yes. Oh, he's, a, he's, an he's got Gurney at it. An unexpected chance, because let's be honest, no one really would have predicted it to be this close. Well, he's still a two to seven favourite with the bookies, Gurney, at this stage. So that shows you how much chance. Well, that's a touch unfair, I think, yeah. on Justin Pipe, the way that he's been playing. But back comes Gurney. Yeah, just when he Whoa! seems to be struggling, he seems to find a big shot. In this little session, he's hit two 180s and two 174s. But so far, only won one leg. <laughs> will surely win this one. That's the worry. Sixty. W Ricard, 170. Six starts at 170. Nights that trouble 18. Didn't find it this time. Pipes actually had more attempts at double as well. He did miss five in the last leg, which Gurney will feel he should have pinched. It's been that sort of game. Well, key moments. They've been giving each other, gifting each other chances. 83. 
Bill six darts in it to 72. Double 12, 5 4. Game show well, that's better. Gunning, first. Well, the final leg before the second break. And it he just take can't on added extra importance. He just can't string together, you know, a, a series of, of good legs. But it was 2 0 Gurney, then 2 all, and 4 2 Gurney, then 4 all. I wonder if, if the pattern will continue. If the pattern continues, Gurney will go into the break 6 4 ahead. Unless Pipe can break the spell. Pipe fans, including me, will be wondering how. <laughs> 140. For me, the player who looks most likely to win is, is Bin Pipe, but that starts. He's done he's done remarkably well, you know, Justin Pipe. 85. To be where he is, still in the top 32, he's had some Problems away from the sport and has overcome them One courageously. And here he is, still playing darts and still managing to get through to the quarterfinals of a TV major. And still throwing a mean dart. I see some seriously unnecessary hate. In the world of social media. That seems the place of choice nowadays but yeah it's totally unfair it's disgusting well, it does look like the pattern's going to continue 2-0 mm. 2-all two 4-2 all, 4-all two, four all. and Gurney here favorite to make it 6-4 heading into the second break as he pushes his average for the first time over the 100 mark 100. another impressive leg I mean he's of the six he's won three have been Sub 15, and the other two have been. Well, that's 11. Yeah. 11 dark leg. And another terrific two dark kill from Daryl Gurney, who again seizes the advantage in this intriguing quarter final. And Gurney is four legs away from another major TV semi final. He leads Justin Pike 6 4. Finals, quarterfinals on the Sunday afternoon. Rob Cross and Johnny Clayton already winners. They will be battling it out in our first semi final at 7 o'clock tonight on ITV4. And Daryl Gurney here leading Justin Pipe 6 4. The winner of this to play either Michael Van Gerwen or Jan Decker in the second semi final. If you are just joining us uh, in between the semi finals and the final, we will give you live. The final of the PDC Unicorn World Youth Championship. Dimitri van der Berg of Belgium against England's Josh Payne. That's all to come later on. Uh, but for now, Darren Gurney. Can he finally get a grip of this quarter final? A positive start. 135. Doesn't want to get into a scrap with. Good pipe, that's for sure. Pipe, pipe's kind of game. He loves it when it's tight. 48. Well, first start over the 60 now. Cancel that. <laughs> 60. It's a, a big problem sometimes for Darrell. He just Pitches just underneath the 60, which makes the uh, angle of entry and darts two and three a little awkward. Hence why he scores a, a too many 60s. 100. Is Gurney world champion material? There's a big question for you, Christopher. N not, not currently, but like I said, I don't think he's the finished article. What he's got to learn to do is, 59. is when you... You know, what they say about the sign of madness is just keep doing the same thing over and over. What he's got to do is, is recognise when this is happening and make a conscious decision just to pitch high into the 60 bed. And then if you do pull it because of nerves and a, and a bit of pressure, you'll pull it into the 60. 
done what not a lot of professionals in the PDC have managed to do over the years, and that's win a big TV major only a couple of months ago. 59. At the World Grand Prix in Dublin. Never to be forgotten for him, never to be taken away. That's a, you know, there's a, there's a lot of fantastic players who've never won. Uh, a well, big the big one. beauty of the, the Grand Prix is it's a, it's a double start event, short format, early doors, and it's a great leveler. Brings everybody together as a, as players, in terms of standard and ability, as we've seen Henderson beating Michael. 85. Whitlock making a final, which he hasn't done for quite a number of years. Well, it's done. It's just kick-started Darrell's career again. You know, he was he was already on the crest of a wave. I mean, he was already having a great season, but that just extra knowledge and confidence that, yes, I can. He no longer has to hope or wonder if. 131. Well, here we go again. Amazingly, Gurney throwing for 7-4. Pike again. Is Pike favourite? Absolutely, he is now. 65. Just in your 18 40. darts on throw, and Gurney hasn't had a dart at a double. So well done, Justin Pike. Here we go. Here's the symmetry going to continue. 2 0 Gurney, 2 all. 4 2 Gurney, 4 all. 6 4 Gurney. And six Pike all. now making to <laughs> throwing to make it 6 all. One eighty. One hundred forty. One hundred. Forty six years of age now, Justin Pipe. Been around for a while. To say his first major TV quarterfinal, ranking quarterfinal that is for four years. 100. He actually reached the semi-finals here at this event in both 2012 and 13. Can he do it again? 140. Well, the way this game's panning out, absolutely. Uh, good last dart. Let's see what Gurney can do. Ninety-one. Same this result. Both on one hundred and seventy. Slight panic stations, but I think he has to. He has to win this leg for me, Gurney. There's only. That pattern can only last for so 60. long. Value require 170. You can't keep Delicious. picking Pike's pocket. A long way off. The radar has gone. 52. Just in your power 110. Astonishing the way that this match has developed, it really is. Pipe has never been ahead. He won't be bothered about that. No, nope. as long as he's ahead. Uh, After 19 <laughs> legs. <laughs> Double 16 to draw level for a third time. Yep. Ah, oh, well done. Well we, we, we continue. We continue with our darting symmetry. 2-0, two, 2 apiece, 4-2, four, 4 all, 6-4, six, 6 apiece. Pipe. If every leg goes by, Justin Pipe will believe even more. Because Daryl Gurney's had ample opportunity, but just hasn't been able to put him away. And the frustration by right now has certainly got to be getting to him. It has to be. It's a better dart if you are going to miss. 100. Must win leg.
60. Getting very okay. frustrated. Six is ain't gonna cut it. Noticed maybe in the last leg or two, pushing the dart, yep. pushing them as if he's trying too hard. Yeah, that's Eighty something one. that should be picked up by his team and you know addressed at the commercial breaks. That's better. A bit more flow in the action. And that's the result. Double sixteen. Seventy two. He'll be back, but it looks like hard work, doesn't it? Fifty nine. That'll be required. Fifty two. Is that awkward? Very. By the looks of Daryl Gurney's face, very. Where's he going? Well, well, that is a good dart. It had to be. Pipe again playing catch up. Good chance now to Gurney. He's to pile on the pain. Sixty. Yeah. Is it going to be a fourth one eighty? Indeed it is. He's hanging on to those Gurney coattails, Justin Pipe. 16. He's letting Pipe play, isn't he? Gurney, he's not punishing anything that Pipe does that's not up to scratch. Letting him off. Somehow found a way through with the last dart. One out of forty. You know what? I think Gurney there was just trying to speed up a little. Yeah. He needs to try something. There's no point point in. Well, yeah, I mean. Carry on repeating what's been happening. Well, yeah, change something. It, it, the match obviously is being played at Justin Pipe's pace. He's dictating the, the pace of this quarter final. Maybe if Gurney speeds up a bit, he can, you know, he can ch turn it round a bit, play a bit quicker, Definitely. force Pipe back to the hockey. Yeah, five or six seconds, yeah. you know, ahead of when he normally would be. Should be nine double sixteen. Level up again. In show the four being played, just in five. Three being played to start with the very first. Two more. Fifty-seven. <laughs> oh, the fans out there, they're chewing their nails. Sixty. 
time is on our side. Needs his own show, that fella. And again, Gurney One below the there. bed, but finds a way through with the last dart. Is this the moment that Justin Pipe can strike? We've had three breaks of throw each in this match already, but Pipe hasn't been ahead at all. Oh, that's a good dart. Turn up the heat and the pressure on Gurney. And again, Gurney blocking the bed. Forced to switch and nothing's happening. And Justin Pipe here has a great chance. All his matches have gone close, Justin Pipe so far. In the last round, he survived match dart against William O'Connor to win 10-9. I mean, in fairness, it's very hard to get any kind of rhythm against. 100, not enough for Gurney, I wouldn't think. Uh, this could be the chance that Piper's been waiting for. He only needs a 140. 95. Just in the crowd, 101. 101 to hit the front for the first time in this quarter final. Well, 60 left, Gurney, trouble 17 for tops, or does he go for the bull? Bull. No, treble 17. Double 10. And double 10. 71. Absolutely flashed at that this one, didn't The brave call. To go for the treble 17. Well, that's the perfect lie for Pipe. To go ahead. No score. Oh, dear. Yeah, oh, dodge, yeah, another yeah. bullet here from Gurney. He can get this, convert this 20. Escape again. He knows it. He has been a lucky lad. Justin Pipe missing a fantastic opportunity to hit the front for the first time. 16. Well, inside, Justin's got to be fuming. So this is the leg that Darrell really wants to try and jump all over him. Score it and takes control of the leg. Well, it's, the, it's the big leg, isn't it? Because yeah. breaks the throw, well, throws for the match. match. Yeah. Fifty-five. Now this having that last leg could really be the match moment. Gurney holding on after Justin Pipe had missed two darts and that would have been to go ahead for the first time. And it was a break of throw, wasn't it? Yeah. 95. Down in the crowd, 100. Well, six darts from here. Double 18 when he returns. 
A 9-7 lead, a break of throw, and the opportunity to throw for the match. Great camera angle. 58, Darryl Gurney, 36. Here's Gurney. And there it is. 13 darts out to break through for Darryl Gurney. And all of a sudden, after being two darts away from being in big trouble, uh, five minutes later, he's throwing for a place in the semi finals. 60. Sticking in there. Tenacious, as we've said. 100. Gurney still averaging around 95. Exactly Pike has dropped a little to, to around about 90. Ninety-five. Almost, almost getting the throw off of Gurney. He can't find the trouble. What's going on, Darrell? Forty-two. He's throwing for the match, and he's had nine darts, and he's still only on three o three. Throwing for the match, he's thrown it potentially away. Can Pipe somehow take us to a decider? One hundred forty. Shots like that, absolutely. Huge favourite now to break, hold, and we'll be at nine nine. Needs to fill it really. Well, after nine. Very, very average darts. Three brilliant ones. Being kind there, Stu. <laughs> 100. Well, that should be a, a wonderful way to win. Mike really did it, didn't he? Number 19 ball to win it. 52. Just requires 62. To stay in it, unlikely as it may seem. Fifty one left, nineteen double sixteen. Double sixteen. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. So Gurney has wasted an opportunity to win the match. And Pipe now throwing to force a deciding leg. One leg shootout on his way. Moves will be jangling. Well, I did say, didn't I? 20 minutes ago, never been ahead in this quarter final, Justin Pike. But all that matters is being ahead after 19 legs. And that's the aim. 16. Against an opponent who's now more than just slightly worried. Honestly concerned. Mike won't have no fear of a last leg decider. He's won a couple of tight matches here already, hasn't he? So he'll just think it's written in the stars. Just in the car, 164. Nine darts round, scored. What a good leg again from Pipe. 140. To leave 24 after 12. We're heading to a decider. 
Again, he raised himself, raised his game. Yeah. So here we go. After an hour or so and 18 legs of darts, it's one leg to decide whether it's Justin Pipe or Darren Gurney who goes through to the semi finals of the Players' Championship. Gurney led 9 7. He threw for the match. He's throwing for the match again. And again. Wow, wow, wow. Real pressure on this man. Not a lot of pressure on his opponent. He will be playing. Point comes up dry on this visit. Doesn't find a, a treble, otherwise he's in trouble. Here we go. The pipe dream. Is it about to become reality? Oh, well, we flirted with the idea, didn't we? This is what pressure does to you. Pure and simple pressure. Pressure, pressure. Wow, oh, this is remarkable. It's a 180 here, Gurney. 140 this minimum. This is remarkable, Chris. He's gone. Looks like he's gone. 60. The heart will be racing. The heart will be pumping. The adrenaline will be flowing. Well, I should have switched there. Well, well, it's now or never for Gurney. He needs two big trebles, you feel, to stay in. Can't find one. No. 58. Yeah, no. No, good. no, no, no. He's had 15 darts, Chris. Yeah. He should go 51, really. No point going for the ball. Can't see Gurney taking the 1 4 3 out. Oh, his favourite. Not missed it. Paul Gurney, throwing first, has had 15 darts. In this leg. To complete what would be a quite remarkable victory. Yeah. Justin Pipe yeah. goes through to the semi finals of the Players' Championship. He wins three legs on the spin, and the only time that Pipe has been ahead in the entire quarter final is now in the 19th of deciding leg. Would you believe it? A Players' Championship semi-finalist in 2012 and 2013, and he's done it again in 2017. He'll play the winner of our final quarter-final coming up. Van Gerwen and Decker.